Hello. So this is like my fourth attempt at doing this. It's been so long since I've done it. I kind of forgot how to do it and I keep like stumbling over my words and it just turns into like an awkward mess. So hopefully this will be the last time <laughs> and I'll just go with it. And uh, yeah, so I just wanted to make a quick video. Uh, first of all, to say happy Friday the 13th. It's about to storm really, really bad. So it's gonna be pretty intense Friday the 13th here. Um, and second of all, I wanted to give an update on where life has taken me over the last several months since I posted that last video. Which, um, by the way, the, the amount of support that I got on that video meant a whole, whole lot to me. It really helped make a rough situation better. So thank you guys for that support. Um, I did want to address a couple of things, a couple of other questions that I got uh, on that video. Because I know I was, I was pretty upset when I made that video and it showed through the video. And I know I was like being kind of vague on a lot of stuff. And uh, there's still some stuff that I can't really, it's just, it's not my place to talk about exactly what happened or why. But, um, in case you missed it, um, basically earlier, or at the beginning of this year, we found out that we would be moving uh, from the house we were in, which meant that the Halloween stuff that was like the centerpiece of my life for the better part of my entire adult life uh, was going to have to go away. It's getting really dark really fast. And um, so that was just... It was a heartbreaking situation, and it sucked. And some of the comments that I got on it were asking, like, well, what's the big deal? Why not just do the Halloween stuff wherever you're going? Or what's with the defeatist attitude? Why not, like, did you really think you were going to be in the same house forever? And, well, the answer to that question is, yeah, we did. Um... Again, it's not my place to go into the specifics, but we didn't move by choice. It would have been a different situation if like we were getting a bigger house in like a big fancy neighborhood or something. We we're all excited about it, but that's not what was happening. Um, the, my parents' house that they lived in, they, like, they, they were gonna retire into that house, you know? So we did expect, or well, they expected to live there forever. And the Halloween stuff was like built around that house. Everything was built specifically to like fit that yard and everything. The neighborhood saw it turn into what it became and it became like a, a big local community sort of thing. So uh, it was, you know, it was that kind of situation. And as for doing it, at this place. Luckily, thankfully, we we did find a place. Um, we're in a different area, totally different area, um, and so we can't really do it here because, for one, there's the yard is really small. Uh, second, there there's no garage. The um, we have like this little sh storage shed back there. But there's no garage like at the other house that like opens up to the street for people to walk in. And uh, also this neighborhood is just like, they're a little bit more strict about certain kind of stuff. So we just don't have as much freedom like we did there. So for now, the Halloween stuff is still on hold. It's still, it's, it sucks. But, you know, hopefully someday I can pick it back up. Um, but I did want to show you guys kind of what I've been working on, kind of like what some of my plans are for the near future. Um, like I said, this house doesn't have a garage, but it has like a converted garage. This part that I'm standing at here, I think it used to be a garage and it's been turned into like a whole new extra part of the house, whatever I'm trying to say. So let's go take a look at that. 
Um, also, I think this part used to be a porch that was like enclosed. And you can see just a lot of the Halloween stuff is still kind of sitting here, still needs to be organized and put away. This, oh man, this is the most heartbreaking part of it. Uh, do you remember those columns that I spent so much time building last year? And then the day before Halloween, the wind knocked them over and they got busted. So we had to like quickly patch them up. They are the one thing that I was not really able to salvage to bring here. Um, a lot of the other props I still have, but those, they were just too big to move. And so I had to break them down, which was kind of a heartbreaking thing to do. But I was so proud of the bricks that I carved. So I, I saved a couple panels of it just to still have it, you know, sentimental reasons. Um, but anyway, the thing I want to show you is this room over here is part of what was like the converted garage. Now, we did not paint this room orange. It was already orange. I think the last people who lived here used it as like a music recording room or something. But the orange color, and it has like orange light bulbs and everything, is just perfect. I am turning this into a Halloween room. Uh, you can see I got my Grim Reaper over there in the corner. Got my piano from the Masquerade last year with some other stuff set up. I'm still working on it. There's still a lot of stuff I need to hang up. I was going to put the Deadwood Cemetery sign up above that door. Have some stuff on the wall. Got the Scarecrow and stuff right there. The circus stuff there. Um, another thing I couldn't... Whoa, I might cover half the screen. Uh, another thing I couldn't really save is the circus wall, like the striped walls. Uh, they were just too big and bulky to try and save, so I had to throw those away. But the circus year was such a big year because it was the year that I got engaged, so I wanted to keep at least a little piece of it. Um, I cut out a piece of the circus wall and framed it, so this will be hung up in here as well. And... Yeah, I'm pretty excited about turning this room into something. And this leads into another project I've been working on. This I'm working on turning into a like a gaming area. I've got my computer and my workstation on here. Hasn't been set up yet. So I gotta do that. But the plan is to turn this into like a, a gaming station. Uh, the backdrop here, it, that's, that's one thing I've always wanted to do on YouTube and I tried it a few times and could never really keep up with it is doing like a gaming channel, doing gaming videos. So I wanna try and do that again and that way when I'm sitting here playing the game, I can have the camera set up and the backdrop is, you know, that kind of stuff. I think that'll be kind of cool. Um, That'll be on another channel, though. If you're interested in things like that, I'll put the link to that channel down in the description. I don't know exactly when that'll start, but we'll, I'll let you know. So that is another big project I'm wanting to do. Since I can't, like, you know, I can't build any more Halloween props, I've got to do something to, like, keep me active, keep me creative. And then that leads me to the very last thing I want to talk about, which is this channel. Um, I want to start making videos on this channel again. They won't be daily because since I'm not making props anymore, uh, there won't really be stuff to record every day and my normal daily life is just not entertaining enough to <laughs> record every day. So I'll come up with something, but uh, I really want to get active on this channel again. I really miss making the videos and talking with you guys and everything. And, uh, so yeah, that'll happen soon. I need to finish getting all this stuff set up. I need to get a haircut because I'm looking pretty rough. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I think that's everything I want to talk about. Fourth time's the charm. Was this the fourth time? I think it was. So, I didn't think of a way to end this. That's always been my downfall on YouTube. I never think of a way to end the videos. Like, 
elegantly. Oh, did you see him? I think he was kind of hidden. I've got the zombie coming out of the to toxic waste barrel, too. Yeah. All right, so that's it. Uh, this is... Never mind. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you guys soon.